Hey folks, welcome back to the Yuan Pizzazz channel. Are you a fan of Wes Anderson? Have you ever wanted to color grade like Wes Anderson films? Well, you're in luck because today we're going to learn how to color match in Premiere Pro. We're going to be doing a Moonrise Kingdom inspired color grading look. I have a video of a girl prancing around in a field. Then I also have this drone shot of a field. I'm going to just go ahead and scale this in, position it up. Another thing I want you to grab is a still from Moonrise Kingdom. I just grabbed this from Google. This is the exact color grading that I'm going to want to copy today. And I'm going to just drag this onto the timeline as well. So now we're going to open up our Lumetri color panel. And if you don't see it on the right here, you can go to Window, Lumetri Color to open it up. We're going to go to Color Wheels and Match. And we're going to open up the Comparison View. We're going to do a little thing called color matching, and it's an awesome feature in Premiere Pro that will do a rough color match to your footage. So here on the right is the footage that we want to color grade. On the left here is our reference photo. So go ahead and scroll until you see the reference photo. And I had put that at the end here. And now we're going to click apply match. So this is going to do a rough color match and look how Pretty darn good that was. Like I'm very impressed with this technology. It gets the colors pretty well. We might want to do some tweaking, but in general, most of our work is done. I'm going to go to my curves and I'm going to bring it up a bit. And I'm just looking at the picture on the left and I'm going to try to match it as best as I can. I'm going to bring down the shadows a bit. I might actually go to the green icon and just bring that up a bit because I feel like the image on the left is a little more green. And then I'm going to go to the creative mode and I might play around with the faded film. So just play around with the settings until you're happy with it, but I'm pretty happy with this color match. We're going to do the same with my second clip. So I'm going to just bring this playhead over to this second clip. We're going to go back to the color wheels and match. We're going to hit apply match. So again, pretty good. We're going to mess around with the settings. I'm going to bring up the curves. Bring this down here. And then it has more of a green ish look to it. So I'm going to bring up the green and bring up the blue a bit. And then play with the faded film. Okay, great. Now, once you are happy with the color match, we are going to go ahead and add a grain on top of it. I'm going to right click in the project panel, go to new item, adjustment layer, press OK. I'm going to rename the adjustment layer to noise. And I'm going to drag this on to the second layer of the timeline and just drag this out so it covers both clips. Now with the noise layer selected, we're going to go into our effects. We're going to search for noise. Scroll down here and we're going to go to noise and grain. I'm going to double click it. And we're going to go into our effect controls and we're going to set the noise to around 10. I'm actually going to take off the comparison mode for now, just to take a look at this grain. The higher you make the noise, the noisier it's going to be, obviously. But I think something around 10 is natural. The rendering speed is at red. So we're going to just mark an in and out point by hitting I and O on our keyboard. And we're going to go to sequence, render into out. And that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to the Uwampasaz channel for more videos. Have a great day, folks.